Welcome everyone. I have a message for you all that comes all the way from one of the world's most notorious prisons, Bangkwang Central Prison, better known as the Bangkok Hilton. Zulin has asked me to publish a letter on YouTube, on Twitter and on Facebook. I've already published this letter on Twitter and on Facebook and the relevant page is Koh Tao Death Island and uh, this is one of the few ways that Zulin has of communicating with the outside world. So this letter is very much his way of communicating with you and other members of the general public right throughout the world. And the letter is dated the 20th of January 2022. It took several months to get to me. I only received it about one week ago and that's uh, really a result of COVID restrictions and very few flights leaving Bangkok into Perth, Western Australia, which is where my office is located. And the letter reads as follows. It says, Dear Ian Yarwood, I got a long letter from you with nine pages that you sent to me dated Thursday, the 16th of December, 2021. And I also got the postcard that you sent to me quite long ago, dated the 27th of October, 2021. I've answered the postcode and sent it to you, and I think I sent it to you a month ago. I don't know why you have not received the letter. In fact, I did receive the letter at the same time I received this letter. So it took many, many months to get to me. Maybe it's taking long time to reach you. I will write all over again what I wrote in my last letter. I thank you very much for taking the time to write to me and helping concerning my care, my case. You are so kind to people and I am very happy to have you in my life. It was very, it was really wonderful and kind of you to take the trouble to help me by speaking to the embassy in Australia. Please keep pushing them that they will take some sort of action for me to get me out of this hell. I will say that it is a real hell because people are so noisy all the time and some people try to kill themselves and to get anything here you must battle. For example, just to get food you must be in alert and ready to rush for it because if you are late you won't get anything to eat. We are overpopulated and most of the time what they provide is not enough for all of us. Too many stress and some people are too frustrated they attempt to end their life. I have been writing to the embassy without any reply because I will try to ask them to do a treaty for me of being transferred to Myanmar or to discuss with Thai Minister of Justice to get a big reduction for my sentence or to be released. Now, unfortunately, I think his chances of being transferred to Myanmar to serve out his sentence are very small. And unfortunately, there is so much drama in Myanmar at the moment that uh, most people within the Myanmar government are too focused on uh, internal turmoil to worry too much about two young scapegoats languishing in Bangkwang Central Prison. I'll continue. I'm very fed up with the situation. I am in here for nothing. The Myanmar Embassy are helpless. Even they don't respond or response a word to me whenever I write to them. Please put this mail on your Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to let the world know how Embassy are doing. Early October 2019, an organization of military came and see me under the under of military chief. And another organization of military visited me again in December 2020. I think they were some, I think they were same group. I requested them to do a treaty for me for being transferred to Myanmar, but I've still not heard anything from them uh, up yet. Maybe they are too busy due to the politics problem and have not time for me. They supported me some money and some magazines. It was wonderfully kind of you published my letters on your Facebook, YouTube and Twitter to let the world know regarding my story. I wish I could show my gratitude to you somehow, somehow for your kindness. And I will always be indebted to you for what, you, what you've done for me. Take good care of yourself I send you all my best wishes. Regards, Zorlin. And this was the envelope that it uh, that it came in.